ever wondered what it feels like to have a powerful brushless blower fan? In this video, we test a brushless electric jet, a compact electric thruster that delivers serious power. This is one of the requested video to design a handheld brushless blower and I have designed it such that the exit diameter can vary by rotating the center grip. It is similar to the variable nozzle EDF I have tested before. If you haven't checked out that video, then you can click on the i button and watch it. Now let's start with its CAD model. It has the most common 70mm EDF dia with 8 nozzle blades. The handle houses all the electronics along with the battery. I have 3D printed all the parts with 0.2mm layer height and 30% infill. Now let's start with its assembly. First we'll connect the nozzles with its holder using M2.5 screws of 10mm length. The nozzle arm is attached to the slider using M2.5 screws of 12mm length. To assemble all the parts in sequence, first the slider is slided in its position. Then the gripper is attached to the EDF. The gripper and slider are pressed together to fit with each other as these has internal grooves. Then attach the nozzle holder while aligning the screw holes. Lock it in place using two M2 screws. Attach the nozzle arm with the nozzle using M2.5 screws of 12mm length. The nozzle convergence and divergence mechanism is ready. Just rotate the grip in clockwise or anti-clockwise direction to vary the diameter. I'll be using the DYS 2500KB motor and connect it using M3 screws. This is the most common 70mm propeller, I use it in most of my projects. Here is the circuit of it. I have taken the servo tester and extended its potentiometer wire. This is the ready to sky 45 ampere ESC. I have chosen it as it is compact. This is the 5 volt LDO to power the servo tester as the ESC doesn't have the BEC. Attach the potentiometer using glue stick then press its knob on it. I have attached two M3 inserts to the handle. Now let's wrap everything and attach the EDF. You can reduce the wire length to make it compact. I didn't do it as I further need to use the motor. Attach the EDF to the handle using M3 Phillips screws. The jet is assembled and looks stunning from all the sides. I'll be using a 3S 1300mAh LiPo battery. When you'll first time connect the battery, calibrate the ESC by rotating the potentiometer to the extreme end. And then after the beep sound, bring it back to its starting position. I have printed the bottom cover using TPU material. You can also print it using PLA. Now let's test the air velocity. the maximum velocity of 13.3 meter per second. Now let's converge the nozzle and test the velocity. So it gave us 15.7 meter per second. Now let me demonstrate in real time. As you have seen during the test, it has a very high power on a 3S battery. So I haven't tested it on a 4S battery. Although this design looks good, but there are lots of moving parts which makes it vulnerable to vibration. So I have designed another handheld jet with fixed nozzle dia with few parts. You can see the side by side comparison of it.
it gave us the air velocity of 18 meter per second. It also performs similar to the previous design. So you can download the files accordingly. The file links can be found in the description or you can also check out the websites for more projects like this. And my upcoming video is of a bicopter taxi pod. It is one of my difficult projects so far which took multiple crashes before attaining a successful test flight. The video will be uploaded soon. So guys if you have liked this video and found it informative then please like share and subscribe to my Mac Ninja YouTube channel. So thank you guys for watching it. I'll catch you later with the next project.